What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. This right here is another Gray Zone Warfare video. We're going to be going over the MK-18. These are my two best builds for the Daniel Defense MK-18 AR-15 platform. Love it. It's probably the best gun in the early access right now, in my opinion. As far as fire rates, the current rounds, everything, I, I, I've, I've used 308 and the M80s, the M80A1s don't really do anything. So for now, this is pretty much my main weapon. I'm going to give you two variations of how I build it. So first, we're going to be talking about range, sniping, marksman type of gameplay with your squad, trying to hit some of those more open area POIs. This is going to be the build. Scope is going to be preference here, but we're going to go ahead and start with that. I prefer the Razer 1x6. It still gives me that red dot ACOG 1x type of feel. I love the reticle, everything smooth with it, and then a 6x. So really good for that type of mid-range reaching out to a longer range fight. I actually own pretty much the same scope, but it's the Strike Eagle Vortex on one of my AR-10 platforms. So let's move on to the barrel. You're gonna be wanting to use a 20 inch barrel, slap on the SOCOM adapter, JPGS gas block, and then the uh, your suppressor. So it's the SOCOM RC1. If, don't worry too much if you cannot get, because the Gunny Level 3 sells the full platform with the 20 inch barrel attached right here. You cannot buy it by itself. So if you don't have gunny level three yet, don't sweat it. Barrel length isn't isn't going to matter too, too much. So build it as is and, and use the 18 or 16, whatever you can do, and you should be good. We're going to be using the default Daniel Defense Rail System. Don't, don't touch that. M4 buffer tube, which is standard, and then the CTR stock. This is going to give the best recoil control and handling without doing anything with arm stamina drain. So this is the best stock. There's two different colors, I believe. Just pick what you want. Going on to grips, this is the big one. So when you're looking at these statistics, you're going to want plus, minus, plus, minus. You want to have the highest, the lowest, highest, lowest, okay? So we have a negative 16 arm stamina drain. That's the best. Again, we're sniping. We want to be able to keep our gun up as long as we can. And we're getting to have a little bit of recoil control and weapon handling along with it. So this little AFG2 foregrip is the best. Moving on down to the pistol grip, MOD pistol grip. The best charging handle is going to be the Supreme. That's kind of standard. Magazine can be whatever you need. Just know that there's going to be effects to reload time. We're going to move on to a little more CQB build for the Daniel Defense MK18. This thing is nasty. If you have not used the iron sights in this game, especially on this weapon, you need to do so. So this is the gun. This is what it looks like. And we're going to go through the build right now. And then I'll show you what the recoil looks like. So again, Daniel Defense MK18. I prefer to go with a smaller barrel. But again, you can go ahead and do the 20 inch. Because again, you have to buy the fully kitted out MK18 and spend all that money and everything. So right now we're CQB anyway with this. So 16 inch is fine. We're going to do the micro uh, front sight and rear sight. We're going to do the Daniel Defense vertical grip. We don't really care about arm stamina drain here. Remember, we want the best uh, weapon handling and recoil control Okay, that we can get. Daniel Defense grip, again, plus 10, plus 10, arm stamina drain, don't really care for. So the CTR stock again. Supreme charging handle and everything else is the same. The main, the only two things is we're just going to be going iron sight. We can shorten the barrel length, same suppressor, everything. That's all they have right now. And then we're doing the vert grip, the Daniel defense vertical grip. So this thing again is very clean, very easy to shoot. Doesn't really move. Those are the two builds. Again, you're going to have one for more of a CQB, one for more of a long range marksman type of play, but that's it guys. MK 18. Remember, join the collective if you have not. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I have a lot of solid dudes in there. One of our main games is Grey Zone Warfare, and we do a lot of content with that, so we'd love to have you. That's it for this video, though. I will catch you guys on the next one. Thank you.